Have you ever wondered what the smallest star in our universe is? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of celestial bodies and start our journey with the smallest known star, EBLM J055557 AB. It's a name that may not roll off the tongue, but its unique characteristics make it a star worth remembering. The size of EBLM J055557 AB is truly remarkable. This little star is about 80 times the mass of Jupiter, making it just large enough to enable the fusion of hydrogen nuclei into helium. If it were any smaller, the pressure at its core would not be sufficient for this process to occur, and it would be a brown dwarf, a failed star, instead of a main sequence star. When we compare EBLM J055557 AB to our own sun, the difference is staggering. Our sun is more than 1100 times larger, but despite this vast difference, EBLM J055557, AB still holds its own in the cosmos with its unique qualities. The discovery of EBLM J055557 AB was a breakthrough moment for astronomers. This tiny star was found using a method called gravitational microlensing, which essentially involves the light of a more distant star being magnified by the gravity of a closer star, as predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity. The existence of EBLM J055557 AB has significant implications for our understanding of the universe. It pushes the boundaries of what we consider a star to be, and it challenges our theories about how stars form and evolve. It's a reminder that there's still so much to learn about our universe, from the tiniest stars to the most massive galaxies. So, next time you gaze up at the night sky, spare a thought for EBLM J055557 AB, our universe's smallest star. It may not be the brightest or the most noticeable, but it's certainly one of the most intriguing. Just as the smallest star in our universe is a marvel, so too are the larger celestial bodies that we'll explore next. Did you know our sun, though massive for us, is just an average star in the grand scheme of the universe? Let's delve into the heart of our solar system, our very own star, the sun. The sun is a colossal sphere of hot plasma, radiating energy through nuclear fusion at its core. It's so large that over a million Earths could fit inside it. But if we compare it to the smallest known star, EBLM J055557 AB, our sun is about 2,100 times larger. This comparison, in itself, showcases the staggering diversity that exists within the cosmos. But the Sun is not just about size. Its importance for life on Earth is unparalleled. It provides the heat and light necessary for life as we know it. It powers photosynthesis in green plants, drives the weather and climate on Earth, and even dictates our daily rhythms and cycles. The Sun has been shining for about 4.5 billion years. But like all stars, it won't last forever. Stars are born, they live out their lives, and they die. Our sun is middle-aged in stellar terms and is halfway through its main sequence stage. In another 5 billion years, it will exhaust its nuclear fuel. It will then swell into a red giant engulfing the inner planets including Earth before shrinking into a white dwarf, finally ending its journey as a black dwarf. Yet these celestial transformations should not cause us any immediate concern. For now, the sun continues to shine brightly, offering us warmth, light, and the energy we need to survive. The universe, however, doesn't stop at our sun. It's teeming with an array of fascinating celestial bodies, each with their unique characteristics and life stories. From our sun, we venture out to the giants of the universe, the supergiant stars. What would you imagine when you think of a star hundreds of times larger than our sun? Well, welcome to the realm of supergiant stars, the titans of the cosmos, dwarfing our sun in both size and luminosity. Take Betelgeuse, for instance. This red supergiant in the constellation of Orion is about 700 times the size of our sun. If we were to place Betelgeuse in our solar system, it would engulf all the planets up to Jupiter. Yet Betelgeuse pales in comparison to the largest star known to humanity, UI Scuti. This behemoth stretches to more than 1,700 times the radius of the sun. That's so large, it's hard to even comprehend. Now these celestial giants aren't just notable for their size. They are also characterized by their incredible energy output. This energy is so intense that it forces the stars to expand, leading to their immense size. The light they emit is millions, sometimes billions, of times more luminous than our sun. 
Yes, their radiance is so powerful it can outshine entire galaxies. But what's truly fascinating about these supergiants is their life cycle. They live fast and die young, at least in astronomical terms. Born from massive clouds of gas and dust, they burn through their nuclear fuel at an astonishing rate. And when they've used up their fuel, well, they go out with a bang, collapsing under their own gravity and exploding as supernovae. These cosmic detonations are among the most powerful events in the universe, spreading elements across space that will one day form new stars and planets. Their ends are as spectacular as their lives, but they serve a purpose beyond mere spectacle. These stellar explosions contribute to the cosmic cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, shaping the very fabric of the universe. After exploring these vast celestial giants, it's time to travel into the depths of space with the Voyager missions. Imagine a man-made object traveling farther than any human or human-made object has ever gone before. That's the reality of the Voyager missions. Two spacecrafts, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, launched by NASA in the late 70s, have embarked on an incredible journey through the solar system and beyond. The objectives of these missions were ambitious to say the least. They aimed to study the outer solar system, including the giant planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, along with their moons and the unique system of rings and magnetic fields those planets possess. But they exceeded all expectations and have become our silent ambassadors to the cosmos. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Voyager missions is the golden record on Voyager 1. This 12-inch gold-plated copper disc carries sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth. It's like a time capsule, a message in a bottle thrown into the cosmic ocean, carrying greetings in multiple languages, sounds of nature, music from different cultures and eras, and more. It's a testament to our hope, curiosity, and the desire to reach out to the cosmos and possibly other life forms. Now let's talk about where these spacecrafts are. Voyager 1 is currently in interstellar space, the region between the stars, filled with material ejected by the death of nearby stars millions of years ago. Voyager 2 is not far behind. They are still sending data back to Earth, helping us understand more about our solar system and the universe beyond. They've shown us stunning views of the giant planets and their intriguing moons, revealing active volcanoes, icy geysers, and a lot more. The Voyager missions remind us of our small but significant place in the vast universe. They symbolize our quest for knowledge, our courage to venture into the unknown and our hope to someday become a part of the cosmic community. Their journey continues silently, diligently, carrying a piece of us into the great beyond. The Voyager missions remind us of our small but significant place in the vast universe. In our journey from the smallest star to the furthest reaches of space, we've seen a universe of incredible diversity and wonder. We began our exploration with the most diminutive star known to us, EBLM J055557 AB. This star, though smaller than Jupiter, holds an immense gravitational pull. It's a testament to the universe's ability to surprise us, to challenge our assumptions about what a star should be. Next, we turned our gaze closer to home, to our very own sun. And while it may seem ordinary in the grand scheme of the cosmos, it's anything but. It's our prime source of life, light, and energy, burning brightly at the heart of our solar system. Our sun is a reminder that even the familiar can be extraordinary when viewed in a cosmic context. From there, we ventured to the supergiants, stars that dwarf our sun in both size and luminosity. These celestial giants like Betelgeuse and Vui Canis Majoris are some of the largest stars in the universe. Their sheer size and brightness a testament to the universe's grandeur and power. Finally, we traced the path of the Voyager spacecrafts two tiny ambassadors from Earth venturing into the vast unknown. These missions have expanded our knowledge of the outer planets and continue to transmit data from beyond the boundaries of our solar system. They represent mankind's relentless pursuit of knowledge and our desire to understand our place in the universe. Throughout this exploration, one thing stands clear. The universe is vast, diverse, and endlessly fascinating. It's a complex tapestry woven from countless stars, galaxies, and celestial phenomena. And yet, despite its immensity, we've made our mark, reaching out from our tiny corner of the cosmos to touch the stars. 
As we continue to explore the universe, who knows what other wonders await us in the cosmic vastness.